Since the dawn of eternity, four lights of hope have shone upon the world. Men flock to these lights, around which they build four peristylia. Each peristylium becomes their faith and society, the path upon which they are set. The vermilion bird, wings of fire to lift the heart. The white tiger, steely arms by which to seize knowledge. The azure dragon, unclouded eyes that see all beneath the sky. The black tortoise, a rigid shield and a well-guarded blade. But when nine and nine meet nine, Tempest Phoenix shall be willed upon them. For without the Agito, their world, called Aurians, must persist in its spiral. In this time of absolute darkness, we must unite to bring forth the light of hope. The time has come, yes, this is the dawn of a new age! And so the Militess Empire, home to the White Peristylium, invaded the neighboring dominion of Rubrum. As soon as the declaration of war was made, the Militessi main fleet swarmed into all corners of Rubrum. At the same time, a separate fleet was charged with a sneak attack on the Vermilion Peristylium. A lassie accompanied this task force. Using a lassie to invade a sovereign state was a direct violation of the Pax Codex, a treaty created by all four crystal states of Orients. The besieged Palestilium attempted to repel Militess's Magitech armors with powerful magic. Not even the mighty warships could withstand the awesome power of the summoned Eidolans. It seemed that the Militesi offensive would fail. However, the Lassi Kunmi led a special unit past Wubrun's defenses and activated a new weapon, the Crystal Jammer, neutralizing the power of the Vermilion Bird Crystal. Severed from the source of their magical powers, the Rubrum forces were quickly overwhelmed and overrun. Imperial Marshal Sid Olstein demanded of Chancellor Kalian Cheval VI, the leader of Rubrum, that he surrender and transfer the Vermilion Bird Crystal to Militesi control. Your crystal cannot protect you. Resistance is no longer an option. You have six eyes. You must comply with our demands, or face the full might of our forces. In which case, I promise you, the roads of Rubrum will run red with the blood of her people. May the crystal guide them to salvation.
When nine nine meet nine, the depths of reason shall stir. When the seal of creation is broken, a voice like thunder shall sound, and thou shalt know. We have arrived. For them, the path was not chosen. They chose their path. Yes. Not knowing the fear of death. Having never learned the fear of confronting it. Is everyone all right? Have you seen a guy? A guy with a red cape? No, I haven't. You? No. Visual! Kill them! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
find Ace. Teacher. Teacher. Damn. Ace. 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 I'm here. I'm right here. Isana. It's too late. I know that. I always thought that your name was weird. I'm telling you, Makina must have pulled that one out of a hat. Is this the end? Makina. Stay strong. Rem. I would have liked to see you again. DJ. You're here. With me. No. I don't... I don't want to die.
Flash Zero. Respond. Zero here. Good. The comm arrived safely. Praise be unto the warrior who lost his name. Why couldn't I use magic? I am Kurosame. I'll be your CEO. Your objective. Locate the Empire's crystal jammer. Then neutralize it. The Understood. May the crystal guide you.
never sensed such a powerful aura. Time to get out. I got this. the enemy unit preparing to engage get in position prepare for landing queen here what is it it's my turn just can't the line keep the lines clear of your nonsense nonsense what about you the operation is proceeding as planned same here. Same. What's your status? Crush him. Leave it to me. Everything's better and smooth over here. Eight. Time to sit out. I got this. Something's watching me. <laughs> well, sounds like we're all on schedule. <laughs> counterattack took the Empire by surprise, and the battle seemed to favor the Dominion. Then, three hours into the operation, many of the Dominion's airship squadrons had not yet fully achieved their objectives. A lack of experience combined with Imperial counterattacks was jeopardizing the operation. To make matters worse, without access to their most powerful weapon, magic, Rubrum's ground forces suffered severe casualties and were unable to reach their objective, Academia. Class Zero, do you read me? This is Intel. We've located part of the jamming device that's affecting Rubrum. It's inside the Militesi flagship in the airship docking bay. Head there immediately.
Class Zero, it's me. See that switch in front of you? I think you know this already. But you're free to suppress any resistance. What? The device is still operational? Impossible! They're using magic right in front of us!
coming from just beyond there. Take it out. crystal yeah i saw it looks like its power is returning come on makina all right magic has been restored in some areas anyone who can still fight gather in this. front of the facility Understood. Special idolins are summons we can use. Let's hear that report again. Sir, Vessel 6 has been confirmed destroyed. Looks like we have an anomaly on our hands. What about the 401st and 903rd? I can't reach either company, sir. Keep trying. 
Sir! Byakuya 10! Byakuya 10! This is Kusabi. Bring me that Spot. survivor. Byakuya the one from the 161st. Sir! Corporal Boz of 161st! So, you are certain you saw the enemy using magic? Uh, yes, sir! My understanding is that after witnessing this, you fled from the battle. Then your unit was annihilated. Is that correct? Yes. I, I felt it was my duty to report- In a Militesi army, we do not tolerate soldiers who flee from their fear. The 161st Company was wiped out by Dominion magic. Clean us up. S sir! So even a Lassie like Kune cannot keep the Vermilion Bird Crystal in check. Well, this sucks. Where'd these rats crawl out from? sucks. Same old routine. Try something new. Let's end this right now. Now then.
start over? Is this the power of a Lassie? Who are you people? Those red cloaks. No way. N Nine Tail is down. Communication lost with Kunmi. Impossible. What's going on out there? The Vermilion Bird Crystal is fully restored. Magic readings in all sectors. Wait. Point sixty-eight. A Lassie. A Vermilion Bird Lassie. I've lost contact with the 204th and 208th. Get our men out of there. Attention all units in Dominion territory. Halt all military operations and withdraw at once. Retreat! Retreat! Send HQ a code 991. We're transitioning to Operation Northern Dawn. Sir. Hmm come this far just to be turned back. Six hours into the operation, Rubrum's Agito Cadet Class Zero achieved its objective, and the Dominion succeeded in taking back its territory. It was here that Class Zero made its first mark in the pages of history. Misfortune has befallen academia and the Dominion at large. 
The Militesi Empire has broken the Quadripartite Crystal States Pact, which was forged through the courage and wisdom of our forebearers. Because of this deplorable, gravely unwarranted and unforgivable breach of faith, we have all lost many friends and loved ones. And yet, here I stand before you, proof that your strength of heart, your pure and noble desire to protect our beloved Rubrum and the Vermilion Bird Crystal was strong enough to win academia back from our enemy. I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude to the valiant warriors who accomplished this great feat. However, we must also not forget those who fell in this terrible battle. We shall drive out the Militesi forces that still unlawfully occupy our territories and liberate our villages, cities, and citizens that continue to suffer at the hands of the Empire. Rubrum is not in this alone. All of Orients must confront this challenge. I hope that you will all remember this as a new... Chancellor! Anathemic readings in Lorca! What? One day, historians may refer to this as Tempus Finis. Hmm. Nonsense. This is not the beginning of the end. It is the first ray of hope, one that we've brought forth. In 842 RG, an Ultima bomb, powerful enough to obliterate an entire continent, was dropped on the Black Peristilium in Lorica. In the blink of an eye, the Lorican Alliance, which had stood proud for 700 years, was completely erased from the continent of Orients. Raise the Vermilion Banner. Fearing an attack with a second Ultima bomb, the Kingdom of Concordia, home to the Azure Peristilium, began defending the airspace over its territory and that of the Dominion of Rubrum. Concerned the war might spread to other nations, Concordia sought an immediate cessation of hostilities, but was rejected outright by the Dominion of Rubrum. With large portions of land occupied by the Empire, the Dominion was reluctant to accept a ceasefire, as that would be a silent concession to the Empire's act of aggression. The Consortium of Eight, Rubrum's supreme ruling council, spent several days debating how to recover their lost territory. With our forces' current state, do you really believe we can defeat the Empire in a full-scale conflict? We'll have to abandon our outer territories and focus on defending the capital and retaking key strategic areas. 
We can make up for our disadvantage in numbers with the sea. The Empire already unleashed the sea on us during this invasion. We're lucky that it wasn't a Primus. If they want to throw dirt at us, I say we just throw it right back at them. My, you've quite the sense of humor. Do you really think a Lassie would accede to the wishes of the Consortium? Why not? The Vermilion Bird Crystal was attacked by an enemy Lassie. It was put in danger. There's no way that it's Lassie could refuse to aid us in this situation. And if the Lassie operated by that logic, you might actually have a point. Only the Vermilion Bird Crystal has the power to direct the Lassie to help us. And the wills or wants surrounding that do not a productive discussion make. Might I offer a suggestion? I understand the cadets who were involved in the liberation of the capital were unaffected by the Jammer and managed to repel the White Tiger Lassie. Can we create more soldiers with the same magic technology used to create them? Sorry I'm late. You can't simply repeat what I've done with the children. And the tech itself is classified. Disclosure is out of the question. <sighs> Dr. Aratia, have you learned anything about the Crystal Jammer? Very little, I'm afraid. I can say with certainty, though, that no human could operate the Jammer. It would take a lessee. However, my scanners haven't detected any major disruptions since Lorica's little disappearing act. Based on the data, I believe that something has happened to the lessee, and the jammer is inoperable. Even if that's true, do you have an actual plan to get us 